Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. I wasn't sure if I was going to vlog today, so I didn't grab like my tripod or anything when I was on the way out the door this morning. But the kids and I are out. We are in the Starbucks <sighs> drive through line right now. JJ's back there being so wild already. It is 8 a.m. Olivia has her two month checkup this morning. So we're on the way there, but I needed to stop and get coffee first. If you guys are new here, I am a mom of two. I have this crazy guy, JJ, and I have a two month old little girl, Olivia. So we just pulled up to her doctor's office. We are like 15 minutes early, so I have a couple minutes to drink some more of my coffee and then get the kids all settled. I'm gonna put JJ in the stroller just so it's easier and I'm just gonna carry her so that he can't like run around like a crazy man because that's what he does these days. But it's not raining so I think after, his, after her appointment I'm gonna go over to this playground. There's like a huge playground here on post which is where we are. And I'm gonna let JJ play for a little bit even though like freezing outside. I think I'm gonna let him play because he needs to get some energy out. But I realized I forgot to get Olivia a hat. I left the house without a hat for her and it's 35 degrees outside. So I'm probably gonna take JJ's hat and put it on her because I think she needs it a little bit more than he does right now. So she has been kind of sick the past couple of nights. Like during the night I've noticed her coughing and like a stuffy nose. And it was really bad this morning and I feel so bad for her because JJ just got over being sick. Like he is perfectly fine today and now she's sick. So you want to show me your new pants? Let me see your pants. Yeah. Then these cute little dinosaur sweatpants for JJ at Walmart. They were on sale for $2 and they're so cute. just got back home from being out this morning. JJ's over there eating lunch right now and Olivia is on the couch. I think she's gonna fall asleep. I just fed her. She had to get all of her shots. Yeah. She had to get all of her shots. So she just like immediately fell asleep in the car and has been asleep like the whole time. And when we got home, I got her and fed her. And now I think she's just gonna go back to sleep. I shared with y'all in my last vlog, this lactation tea that I had got. And I got that because my supply had dropped a lot and I was working on getting it back up and it has, I, my supply has gotten better again, but it's still not like that great. I've been having to pull from my freezer stash and give her a bottle usually at night. By nighttime, I'm really not producing a lot of milk anymore. And then overnight, I seem to produce a lot overnight and that like gets me through the morning and most of the day with her. And then at nighttime, it's just not there a lot and I still try to nurse her as much as I can and pump even as well. I talked to the doctor and my freezer stash is pretty much gone so I can't really use that anymore because it's gone. So I did end up stopping at Walmart and picking up some formula for her just because I just want her to be healthy and get everything that she needs and if she's not getting that from my breast milk then I'm okay with supplementing with formula whenever I need to. I'm still gonna breastfeed as much as I can. Then like when I feel like she's not getting totally full, I will give her a little bottle of formula or at nighttime, right before bed when I would usually give her a bottle of like my stored breast milk, I will give her a bottle of formula until my supply gets better or if that's just what we need to do, then that's what we're gonna have to do because I just want her to be healthy and grow the way she should. The doctor wasn't super concerned about her weight right now but she did say that she's not really gaining like she should she's not like underweight and they're not super duper concerned but the doctor did say that she's just kind of like flat on the chart instead of like going up like she should so and she said that probably is because she's not really eating 
as much as she needs to, I guess, right now, which I kind of knew, so. So this is the formula that I went with. It's just the Parents' Choice Walmart brand. And I got the gentle one because she does have, she gets gas a lot, so I thought that this one would be good. Um, it says closer to breast milk. It's got vitamins, minerals, and all that. Triple care for brain growth and immunity. The only thing my doctor said was to make sure I got like a cow's milk formula which this says it's milk based so but I asked her like what brand she said that it didn't really matter which brand I got and then she did say that the Walmart generic brand was pretty good so that's what I went with it's definitely more affordable than some of the other ones and since my doctor you know said it didn't really matter that much if I got the expensive brand or if I got you know this one so this is the one that I got we'll try it out I've never used formula before I breastfed JJ I never had a problem so this is all pretty new to me. And then I just got one of these Parents' Choice like baby water. So I got her that just so I'm not using like tap water with her or anything. So that's where we're at right now with that. Hopefully my supply will get better. I'm gonna keep just nursing on demand and trying to pump and give her as much breast milk as I can. But when I can't, I will give her formula and that's fine. But the doctor said that she looked great otherwise. So I am about to make myself some lunch because I'm pretty hungry. But right now I'm gonna take out this Italian sausage. It's gonna be for dinner tonight. I'm trying a new recipe. So I'm gonna take that out so that can fall. And then I think I'm gonna make this chicken chow mein for me for lunch. This is like my favorite ever. I love it so much. So I wanted to share this new purse that I got with y'all. It's got this really long leather strap and then it's this like beautiful cheetah print color. Like this color is so pretty and it's a small just like crossbody bag and it's got like a little zipper inside and then it's like just big enough to fit like my card, my phone, and my keys whenever I'm out and I just love it. I thought it was so cute. I got it at Target yesterday and it was on sale for like $12 so it was so cheap. I absolutely love it. That's the back of it and yeah I love it so much so I wanted to share it with you guys really fast. Hi baby. Hi. Oh my goodness. watching a little cartoons he napped for he napped for about like two two and a half hours and olivia has pretty much just been like sleeping and eating all day like she'll eat and go back to sleep and i just know that she's not feeling very good today and i feel so bad but i just took the time while jj was napping to just sit down and snuggle her and give her all the love in that i could so i'm cooking dinner right now though fred should be home any minute i made a sausage and tortellini soup we've never had it before but i'm really excited it smells so good so Good morning guys. It is the next day now. I look so tired. It was such a long night. Olivia ended up getting a fever last night and her cough was getting worse and she was super congested. So I literally, after dinner, I pretty much just like cuddled her the rest of the night and took care of her. And she woke up so much last night because she wasn't feeling good and she was coughing and she would wake up to nurse more often than like she normally does. So we had a long night, but I have her swaddled again right now out in the living room. Hopefully she will take a good nap. I'm letting JJ just kind of like watch TV and do whatever he wants right now so that I can just focus on taking care of her. I just gave her some more baby Motrin because she had a fever again. I gave her a little bit of that 
and it helped her fever last night. It went away pretty quick. So hopefully it will go away pretty quick now. But I did want to update you guys. I did give her a bottle last night with formula and she took it really well. I nursed her and then I gave her some formula and she drank not quite an ounce of it. And then we gave her a little bit more of the formula before she went down for bed. And she drank, I think about like two, two and a half ounces. So she did really well with it. And then I just nursed her like normal throughout the night without any problems. So I think that's what we're gonna be doing for a little while. Hopefully my supply will get back up, but if not, then I don't mind giving her formula because I just want her to be healthy and happy like she needs to be so but i think i'm going to end today's vlog here thank you guys so much for watching today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it but i'm really gonna to try to get consistent again on my youtube it's just been so hard with both the kids being sick but anyways make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already and i'll see you guys in my next video bye